Hi there. I am so sorry. Now those are some powerful words when they're given in the right spirit in the right circumstance. The flip side of that is, I'm sorry. And where you are saying that and it really is giving your power away and it's not appropriate for the situation. In this video, I'm gonna give you two words that you can often replace instead of saying I'm sorry that will help you maintain your power and your posture and it actually honors the other person involved. So here we go. Before I go into the words though, when is I am sorry appropriate? Well, the first place it's appropriate when you have done something or caused another person pain or inconvenience or hurt and you it could be intentional or not. The other place where I'm sorry is really effective is when somebody is going through a difficult time and you say, I am so sorry for what you're going through or for your loss. It's a great stepping stone into empathy. And those are really important places to say, I am sorry. Now, I observe, and, and perhaps you've observed, that it seems like there are people that will say, I'm sorry for everything, and there are people that will never say, I'm sorry. And of course, then there's a lot of us in the middle. As I was preparing to do this video, I wanted to research and see if it was actually true that women seem to apologize more than men. And I found a study that was made that actually uncovered some nuance of that that I hadn't really thought about. And I'd like to share it with you. And I've got the link in the, the description for this video. And I'm gonna read this because I wanna get the words right. Women reported offering more apologies than men, but also reported more offenses. Isn't that interesting? Men apologize less because they have a greater threshold for what constitutes offensive behavior. You know, there's a lot of nuance in that, isn't there? Uh, the study did say that if you leveled the playing field um, with the degree of offense, that the, the apology rate was about the same for men and for women. I'm gonna give you three examples of situations in which sorry came out, but really it would have been better to say these two magic words. I'm not gonna tell you quite yet. Here's the first one. So and this, was, this happened to me. I was going up some, a narrow staircase and there was actually a man coming down. So this breaks that stereotype. As we approached each other, I stood off to the side and let him pass. He said, I'm sorry. Now, I wasn't offended by that. But it would have been nicer, actually, to say thank you. Because when he says thank you to me, he's, he's really honoring what my gesture was. Whereas sorry, it's like he has done something wrong, which he hasn't. Another example, say you're in a meeting and the meeting time is up and you have another ongoing conversation with somebody that was in that meeting over something else. And that person says, hey, I gotta go. And then a lot of times you might say, oh, I'm sorry. And again, you did nothing to be sorry about it would be so much better and feel the difference of this. Thank you for taking this extra time. We'll catch up later. So again, those two magic words of thank you are so powerful because now I have just honored that person for taking those extra minutes rather than apologizing for something that didn't really require an apology. So this third example is something that probably most of us have experienced. Say we're on a virtual meeting and we're having some technical difficulties. And of course, you might argue with me about this one, but feel the difference between me saying, I am so sorry that I've inconvenienced you, which is, now that's a circumstance where I have. Maybe it's not my fault, but still. Or I could say, thank you for your patience while I've gotten this fixed. And feel the difference of those. In one way, I'm kind of like, my energy is kind of wimpy. And the other way, it's like, thank you. I'm honoring the other person. And so those two magic words that your mom taught you, I hope, if you had a mom, <laughs> but those two magic words of thank you work in so many situations. I would love your comments 
in the comments and what works for you? What have you noticed? And what other questions do you have about I am sorry? Until next time, I so appreciate you listening in. Thank you so very much.